What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video six in our series, reviewing all the skills from the SSI Open Water Diver Program. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at propulsion techniques, whether you're snorkeling or scuba diving. But before we get into the video, I do want to make a quick disclaimer. Please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series for you to go out and scuba dive. Please make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI open water scuba instructor. So with that being said, let's jump into today's skill set. Now, during these skills, we're going to learn several different propulsion techniques, but we're actually going to start out with a head first breath hold dive. And this is one of the skills that you learn from the snorkeling portion of your open water diver program. But here at the surface, I'm just simply floating and relaxing. I'm going to be breathing normal, just getting used to breathing through a snorkel. I'm going to take three normal breaths, and then of course, I'm going to descend below the surface. Now, when I do that, I'm going to bend at the waist, fold my body over, pushing my legs straight up out of the surface of the water. That's going to allow the weight in my body to pull myself down and then of course I can slowly kick to the bottom. As you can tell I'm equalizing. You always want to make sure that you can go slow enough that you can equalize and then on the way up you want to go ahead and displace the water out of the snorkel by simply exhaling. Once you're at the surface take the remaining air out of your lungs and blast the water out by simply just blowing through your snorkel. Once I'm done I can simply breathe through the snorkel again without having to lift my head out of the water. Now the next skill that we're going to look at is a basic flutter kick and this is the very first kicking pattern that you as a diver is going to learn. All you're going to do is kind of keep your legs extended out behind you and some people will actually call this a scissor kick because of the uh, kicking mechanism itself. It kind of makes your legs look like a scissor. But it's actually a flutter kick. I'm just using from my hips all the way to my feet all the way down to my fin tips and I'm just keeping my arms extended and I'm going to kick back and forth using each leg. Now sometimes rocking back and forth can kind of be easy. Um, you can do a modified flutter which you'll learn in a different class however the flutter kick is the most standard kick. Now we're going to go over to the frog kick. Now this kick is actually a little bit more efficient than what the flutter kick is but basically what you're going to do is keep your feet parallel with you as your knees are being bent. You're going to kind of slosh through the water with the outside part of your fin rolling your heels towards each other and then of course you're trying to basically clap the bottom of your feet. In short you're swimming like a frog hence the name frog kick but this is a very powerful kick and very efficient kick because you're not wasting a lot of energy there you go guys that does it for video six in our series of the ssi open water scuba diver Pro so there you go guys, that does it for video six in our series from the Open Water Diver Program from SSI. And as I stated earlier, these propulsion techniques you can practice throughout your program. You're gonna be doing several snorkeling skills where you're gonna practice propulsion techniques and you're also gonna be obviously doing that during your scuba portion of it as well. But stay tuned, we got two more videos left in this series. In video seven, we're gonna be looking at all the surface water skills. And then of course, video eight is just gonna be a compilation of everything you've seen thus far. As I've stated in other videos, Please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series for you to go out and scuba dive. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI open water scuba instructor. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.